Yeah, how are you doing with YouTube land? This is Rick. We're traveling with Rick. This week I'm at Long Point Campground in Brevard County. This campground has about 140 sites and 90% of them are waterfront sites. They're about $35 a night. Water and sewer only full hookups. They have about 10, but that's interior as you can see over there. This is the uh, panoramic view of the entire campground. It's a big circle. It's on an island. Uh, there's two boat launches on this um, in this campground, $5 per day. One's over there, and there's another one down there. They have a little wooden bridge access to the island, that's Scout Island over there. And these are what the sites look like. They're a little uneven. I had to use the uh, plastic blocks to even mine out. But very hot this week, mid 90s. So the usual Florida weather until November. 95 to 100 during the day, 75 to 80 at night with a thunderstorm in the afternoon. So if you're on this site right here, this is what you get. You wake up. And you can see the Indian River and some islands, and you can jump right in, really. So, there's another, there's two more campgrounds in Brevard County. Wickham Park we stayed at, I have a video of that. This one, it actually is a little smaller um, square, you know, square footage wise but 90% of the sites are waterfront even along the sides you can launch a boat you can launch a canoe or kayak right right at your site and you can set up a chair and you have an instant water view so this is it all right Not a bad place at all, but very hot. Make sure you get some uh, a site. With, if you don't get a site with shade, you can just go find a tree and sit under it with a chair like I'm doing. All right. Again, this is the Indian River Lagoon, I guess they call it. And that's this is uh, heading uh, pointing west. Inland, this way, that actually is towards the ocean. And basically I'm here for the ocean because I live on the west side of Florida and we have the Gulf of Mexico, which has like six inch breakers like these. This is the Gulf of Mexico breakers. The Atlantic Ocean, four or five feet. I went there this morning, there are about 10 surfers surfing the uh, six, five to six foot waves, probably higher. So, all right, signing out in East Florida.